Hi, I'm Madison Hooks, and I'll be de debating the diaphorine citri, also known as the Asi Asian citrus psyllid, and which would be the better invading species. Hi, I'm McKenna Patterson, and I will be, be debating that the anaphora gland piperines, or the Asian longhorn beetle, would be the better invading species. The diaphorine century, also known as the Asian, Asian citrus psyllid, originated in Asia, but can also be found in parts of the Middle East, South and Central America, Mexico, and the Caribbean. In the United States, it was first detected in Florida in 1998, and is now in Louisiana, Georgia, Arizona, South Carolina, and also Texas. An adult Asian citrus psyllid measures about four millimeters long. The Asian citrus psyllid is covered in a whitish waxy f covering, which makes it look dusty and also has, and it also has pale brown antennas. These features make them stand out so they not get mixed up with the African citrus psyllid. The insect also has wings, which allows it to fly. The Asian citrus psyllid lays eggs and they're about 0.3 millimeters, and they are also almond shaped. When they are laid, they are pale color and then they turn yellow, and then they are later orange right before they hatch. A female can lay up to 800 legs in their lifetime. The biggest predator to this kind is the wasp species. As the psyllid nymphs feed, they are producing a toxin that can cause the plant tips to die and become quartered. This prevents the leaves from growing normally. There are vectors for the bacteria. This causes the most devastating of the citrus diseases that is called a hong long ding. Aside from the many enemies, one of the types of wasps has pr proved very effective at controlling the pest and has been successfully released for that reason. These reasons prove that the diaphorina, diaphorina, diaphorina citri or Asian citrus psyllid is the better invading species of the two. The Anapophora grand piperines, also known as the Asian longhorn beetle, was first brought to North America accidentally on cargo ships from Asia in the 1990s. Their body size ranges from 1.7 to 3.9 centimeters, and their antennae can grow up to 4 centimeters long. They are also known as starry sky beetles in Asia because of their shiny black color and white spots on their wings. These insects can fly generally only short distances because of their huge size. The Asian longhorn beetle lay their eggs inside bark and usually lay about 45 to 63 at one time. As the insects mature, they continue to grow and develop inside tree bark. And because of the number of eggs laid at one time, it is very difficult to get rid of the infestation of these insects after the eggs are laid. The Asian longhorn beetle have a huge impact on not only the destruction of forests, but urban life as well. An infestation of these insects has the potential to destroy 30.3% of urban trees, which would cause $669 billion of financial loss in the United States. Although humans have used techniques such as monitoring for these in insects, quarantining them, and trying to manage the forests that have already been infested, the Anaphora gland gram piperines has continued to be extremely effective as an invading species. Because of these reasons, the Anaphora grand piperines, or the Asian longhorn beetle, is the better invasive species of the two examples provided. The information that McKenna provided about the Asian longhorn beetle is good, accurate information. But how is it supposed to be aggressive if it can only fly a short distance? Because the Asian longhorn beetle can grow up to 3.9 centimeters, it is generally too big to fly. Yes, the Asian citrus psyllid is a smaller insect, but because of the size, it allows it the opportunity to fly. The Asian longhorn beetle can also cause a big amount of infestation, which can lead to them destroying 30.3% of urban trees, which can also cause $669 billion worth of financial loss in the United States. Although Madison has made valid points on the effectiveness of the Asian citrus psyllid as an invading species, its aggressiveness does not compare to the Asian longhorn beetle. 
One factor that proves this is the sheer size of the Asian longhorn beetle. Compared to the 4 millimeter long Asian, Asian citrus psyllid, the longhorn beetle can grow up to 3.9 centimeters. Even though it cannot fly long distances, that has not stopped the insect from invading North American forests and wiping out large numbers of them. Also, the nature of the Asian longhorn beetle keeps them very close to each other, which quickens the destruction of entire trees and then eventually entire forests. McKenna made a good point about the Asian longhorn beetle being bigger than the Asian citrus psyllid, but that does not stop them from being the better invading species. As I have mentioned, the Asian citrus psyllid has made its way to the Middle East, South, and Central America, Mexico, and the Caribbean. As stated above, the Asian longhorn beetle has caused a lot of devastation to the United States alone, but as of 2009, 33 countries have reported cases of the Hong Long Bing disease. This shows that the insect has used their wings and flying ability to their advantage and should be considered the better invading species. Even though Madison has given strong arguments defending the Asian citrus psyllid, the Asian longhorn beetle still has qualities that make it an even more effective invading species. For example, another factor that contributes to the effectiveness of the Asian longhorn beetle as an invading species over the Asian citrus psyllid is the devastation it has caused in the United States alone. As Madison and I both mentioned previously, the Asian longhorn beetle has the potential to destroy 30.3% of urban trees. This much change in the North American ecosystem could be detrimental, not to mention the long-term effects it could have on the rate of deforestation. Now that McKenna and I have both stated valid points about which insect is a better invading species, I want to remind you that the Asian citrus psyllid can fly and has the advantage over the Asian longhorn beetle, who cannot fly because of how big it is. The Asian citrus psyllid are being used in research to determine the amount of damage that bacteria can cause. This is an insect that needs to be studied because of the citrus disease that it puts off. This disease, the Hongalong Bing, as mentioned above, is a citrus greening disease that is considered a bacteria. Through this debate, Madison and I have shared our arguments on why the Asian citrus psyllid or the Asian longhorn beetle is the better invasive, invasive species. I would like to reiterate that the size and effectiveness of the Asian longhorn beetle give it an edge against its competitor, the Asian citrus psyllid. The Asian longhorn beetle is important to study because of the devastation it is creating in the United States and the rest of North America. Research must continue to be done to improve the control of these pests because of their effectiveness as an invading species.